Hello there, Adam Bazalgette here, founder of Scratch Golf Academy. Today, understanding different clubs and their uses. Hey, people have a lot of unclear ideas about ball position, different lofts and things like that. The simple principles, if you understand them, you'll be a much more instinctively good player. So first principle, if you're going to compress the ball and you, you want to do that on a full shot, you need left arm or lead arm, if you like, club shaft alignment. When you have an angle in here, it is much easier to apply pressure to the ball. So you'll see this in other sports as well. Picture baseball, this is the sort of impact you see. You can apply pressure that way. You could hit it like that. You wouldn't be any good. You wouldn't be in the major leagues. Same with tennis, this sort of an alignment. Now we'll get into that a little bit, how to do that towards the end of the video, along with one other thing. But the primary purpose of this video is to how to sort of judge how this affects different lofts, how the uses of the clubs are. Let's start with a good close-up look at two very different lofted clubs and see how the sweet spot tilt relative to the loft affects ball position. So sweet spot same spot on the club five iron wedge five iron pretty simple to get the sweet spot on the ball with almost no forward shaft lean just a little bit will do it but a wedge as you can see we need quite a bit more forward shaft lean that's why we need to play the ball back a bit farther so Tiger Woods hitting a wedge on the left Rory McIlroy hitting a driver on the right let's point several quick things out here number one Let's get where they've just struck the ball each. Let's say there's the ball just leaving the club and for Rory, that would be about there. So in both cases, shaft is pretty much in line with that lead arm, but you can see that obviously this is a completely different looking shaft angle than that one because the needs of the club are a little bit different. So how are they doing that? Let me point one other quick thing out before I tell you how they're doing that. And that is, let's get right to there, even though Woods is hitting significantly down on this shot. You can see him take a real divot out of the ground there. The grip end of the club where his glove is holding it is not descending at the turf when he hits it. It's very level to slightly rising. There's enough forward lean there to do the job in terms of hitting down a bit, down with it. So the two differences would be number one, ball position relative to his center the ball is significantly more forward on a driver. And the other thing is Rory's creating more side bend by driving his hips on the driver than Tiger would be for an iron. So playing the ball forward, a little more tilt away from the target with the spine sorts this situation out. If you like this video, hope you'll consider sharing it with your friends. Let's keep moving. So as a full-time golf instructor, I frequently get asked, hey, what's the proper ball position for a short iron or a middle club? There, is a, there really isn't a definitive one. Take a, an LPGA Tour player versus a novice lady who's in her 60s just starting golf. Do you think they have the same impact? I think they likely have the same sort of lag and lower body motion? Of course they don't. Or you could take any other cases. So generally speaking, we could say these shorter clubs are about in the middle, a little bit longer fairway clubs, longer irons, hybrid etc more forward I'm going to look at the driver here in just a moment but there isn't a definitive correct position just go generally go with what you think fits your tendencies a little bit so if you watch these top-notch young players they're launching it pretty high with their driver but they're compressing it so most people add loft too much the pros same alignment lead arm club that's why we need the ball well forward we need some tilt to the side we need to catch it on the upstroke with this relationship lead arm and club well, hopefully some of these principles about the loft are becoming a little clearer for you what you're trying to do and what you're trying not let's at least though touch on a little bit of technique we we talked about two things really in terms of that this lead arm club alignment we'll touch on that first and secondly a little bit different bend for different shots you can see how that affects the shot so first thing again i teach golf full-time people are addicted to full speed swings trying for neutral outcomes play around a little bit to discover something here's what you're looking for for number one you need a little bit of bounce you need a little bit of pop if you've watch my videos before you've seen me use that towel etc but I want you to do it this is a nine on small scale where you can really firm up the impact there like that that's probably a little too firm but I feel my wrist squeeze together my forearms firm up a little bit I feel this lead wrist bow on a small scale you can do that and until such time as you can give it a nice pop and hold the club here not here you're not really really getting the proper feel there but stick with that a little bit it's pretty easy to do if you'll start on a small scale next thing as for this side bend don't sell yourself short 
Another thing I find in golf lessons, people sort of instinctively feel they're athletically retarded or something. They're not. You can do a lot more than you think. So principle number one, regardless, we always want the weight forward. We always want to be pushing off that foot. But you can vary this, not necessarily by thinking about your spine, but just having a sense of how much up you want the club to go. Talk about the arms, the club in total, not the club head. So make a few little practice swings. Make it go up a lot. Make it go more level a little bit up, etc. Just play around with it a little bit till you start to get some feel. Eventually you've got to play this game by feel. These principles aren't that difficult if you're number one, grasp them. Number two, just do some small scale. Here we go. There's my firm impact. That would be more up. That would be more level. Obviously ball position affects that a little bit. Have some fun with it. Develop some skill. You'd be a better golfer.